Hi, I'm Bill Sheehy from Latin American Masters Gallery in Los Angeles, California. And we're looking at a piece by Francisco Toledo, uh, a great Mexican artist born in 1940, passed away in 2019. Let's take a second and look at the piece. The piece is called Octopus with Slave Ship, um, and that's fairly uh, descriptive of the piece. Um, it, contextually, Francisco Toledo was, among other things, famous for his uh, expansion of the imagery of animals, uh, what is referred to sometimes as the zoomorphic tradition, which encompasses everything from, um, you know, children's um, uh, fairy tales to Aesop's fables, uh, to, essentially to the use of the imagery of animals throughout the history of arts and culture. And Toledo made an enormous contribution to that imagery, both in terms of uh, creating an imaginative world of a, a sort of bestiary of animals interacting with the human world, and also exploring the aesthetics, the forms, the shapes, uh, textures, colors associated with the natural world and with animals. Um, if that wasn't enough, uh, Toledo was also famous for not only um, introducing new animals into the imagery of um, the zoomorphic tradition, but uh, animals that we hadn't seen, for instance, in, uh, in uh, Aesop's fables or in uh, European art prior to Toledo. Uh, but when he used his animals, he also uh, used them in a very fluid way. What do I mean by that? I mean, for Toledo, the animals uh, were never stock characters. Uh, uh, their identities, their characteristics changed from piece to piece. Their meanings changed. He had that sort of subtle understanding of the imagery with which he worked and invented. So turning again to the octopus with slave ship, um, what, what I find ex really quite interesting about the piece is that Toledo has taken um, an animal that he became very fascinated with, particularly during the last decade of his life, the octopus, for many reasons, I'm sure. It has this otherworldly quality, multiple arms, uh, great intelligence, um, and uh, other capacities like the ability to change colors. Uh, but Toledo became very interested in the octopus and he did many different pieces on octopuses, but each of them was quite different. In this case, he's taken the idea of the octopus and he's linked it with the idea of the sea monster, as we would see in those great um, maps of uh, early exploration and mythologies about uh, giant creatures coming from the depths of the ocean, often associated with um, uh, European explorations of the New World and Africa. In this case, uh, Toledo has taken the octopus, connected it with the idea of the sea monster, and linked that with the passage of slaves being transported from Africa to various parts of the world. Um, you can see the octopus's eyes peering at you from this, from this um, sea of movement. It's very interesting the way he's captured the movement of this ocean. Uh, and the, he sort of rhymed it with the, with the sort of um, violent um, activity of the octopus as its tentacles uh, reach out and ensnare a, um, a boat down below. It's hard for you to see it uh, on the video, but the boat itself, when one gets up close, you can see that the boat is filled with slaves stacked one against the other. So what is Toledo doing here? Um, he's never working simply on one level. I mentioned the sea monster. I mentioned his animal iconography, the mythology. Uh, in this case, he's taken this mythology of the sea monster and he's bended it towards something very specific having to do with the, with the, both with the dangers of the passage from, from, um, of slaves uh, from one world to another, 
but also one could argue that the octopus itself is an embodiment of the violence and horror that slavery was. That is, that the piece itself is allegorical and that this monster can be read not only as um, uh, the danger in passage, but of the actual, an actual embodiment of the violence, cruelty, and horror of slavery. So you start to get an idea of the way Toledo's mind works. He's able to take his interest in animals, he's able to connect it with the mythological, in this case, the, uh, you know, these European mythologies of the sea monster that we're all familiar with, and then he's transforming that mythology into something very specific that speaks to the, the dangers and horrors associated with slavery. I hope you've enjoyed this brief talk on Francisco Toledo's um, Octopus with Slave Ship. If you'd like to see more of uh, Toledo's work and learn more about him, please visit our website. Thank you very much.